Yo, it was good, bros. So somebody just asked me, um, basically he just said uh, he's he's a football player. He wants to make it to the NFL, and um, he just has very low self-esteem. He just lost his motivation, and he's also in the streets, and he really wants to make it out the streets, but people just keep on starting drama with him, and he doesn't know what to do. You feel me? That's the question that I have just got on my Snapchat. If you guys want to send me some questions on my Snapchat, my Snapchat is at Guapanese. I'm going to put it in the, in the description. You feel me? And then, like, uh, I just want to tell y'all, if you if you don't know, you feel me? I had another channel. It was called Jim Awena. It had, like, 30,000 subscribers on it, and YouTube did me dirty. They basically sent me a message one day, and they said... Oh, we're in, since you have, like, you feel me, basically all these bad videos that we don't support, like, you know, videos of me smoking Jadik or whatever, they can't support that. So, basically, because of that, they turned off my monetization, which means I cannot make any type of money, not a dollar off any video that I p- was going to post anymore. And they was going to stop promoting my videos, which also means that they was going to stop putting my videos, like, you know, in people's faces. So, like, barely... Anyone was was gonna be able to see them. My views was gonna get super low. You feel me? And I wanna let y'all know, bro. I was changing my life around. You feel me? I was I was blowing hella jadic before, but I stopped blowing jadic. I cut down. I didn't really stop, but I cut down on jadic so much. You feel me? And my my channel was like basically like jadic based. You feel me? Like just me blowing jadic, and people couldn't stand that. I stopped. That I stopped blowing the jadic for them. So. A lot of people turned their back on me. A lot of people unsubscribed. A lot of people just stopped watching my videos. My my views was going from like like fifteen thousand, twenty thousand to like eight hundred views, one thousand views a video. You feel me? So ever since that happened, man, I just wanted to start helping people, and you feel me, and just like let people know that like they're not alone. I want to help people get through. It's like their hard times with their life, you feel me? Everybody's going through stuff, you feel me? And everybody needs help. Like, most people don't think they need help, but everybody needs help. So, like I said, man, the question was, he's, a, he's in school, he's a football player, he wants to make it in the NFL, but he's losing motivation, and he's also in the streets, and people keep starting stuff with him, drama with him, and he wants to make it out the streets. So, listen, man. One thing about the streets, bro, the streets is very is a very unforgiving, unforgiving place, you feel me? Very unforgiving. People get killed just like that, you feel me? It'd be over something petty, it'd be over something dumb, or it'd be something very, very, very personal, you feel me? The people you hang around with, they they are they gangbangers? Like, are they gangsters, you feel me? If you're around these people, if you're around gangsters and gangbangers, you feel me, you should already expect people to around you to start dying. You feel me? Because the streets are only promised two things. Jail and death. You feel me? So you should already expect this in your mind. Like, yo, bro, damn, I'm in the streets and shit. Like, uh, this this is the only thing it's going to lead to. Yeah, it could lead to some trap money or whatever. You feel me? You know, selling drugs and shit. But that money is not going to get you rich, rich. You feel me? That money's not good money. You feel me? That's dirty money right there. If you get caught one time with that dirty money, your life is basically over. You're going to jail. You feel me? So one thing I got to know about these streets is that the streets is just not a good place for anybody to really be in. It's just like a waste of your life. Like you just, it's like you're playing games with your life. It's like you're gambling with your life. Why would you go gamble with your life? You feel me? Don't you care about yourself? Don't you care if you if if you if you make it out the hood? You feel me? That's the whole point. You want to make it out the hood. You feel me? You're you're in a bad community. People keep starting stuff with you. People don't like you. People already know that you're from that side. You're the, you're a op. People already know this shit. You 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 don't want you don't want to have to go outside every day and feel like damn like this could be my last day. Like you feel me? Or like always got to look over your shoulder. Always got to watch your back. Turn your head, you feel me? Because you know people is after you. You don't want to live life like that, you feel me? You want to live life getting at your house and knowing that people around you, they don't really know you. They don't, you feel me? They cool. They don't give a fuck about you, you feel me? 
you just doing you. That's how you want to go live life. You feel me? So as far as the people starting stuff with you and shit, bro, you can't stop anybody from starting shit with you. You feel me? But you could stop yourself from how you take it and how you retaliate. You feel me? If somebody's trying to start something with you, you don't have to always fight. You don't have to always shoot. You feel me? You could just let it be. I right, whatever. You feel me? Blah, blah. Like, I'm not, I'm not focused on, on whatever you're doing. You feel me? Sometimes you have to stay low key. Sometimes you have to stay low. Sometimes you it might be nice you have to stay in the crib. You feel me? That's how bad people want to start stuff with you. They they looking for you. They spinning your block. Sometimes you got to stay in the crib, bro. But at the end of the day, you know that you put yourself in that position. You know you put yourself in that situation. So you can't be mad that you got to stay in the crib some nights. You can't, be, you can't be out all the time. You can't pop out to this party. You can't pop out to that party because you know the ops might be there. You feel me? Your life is not safe anymore once you're in the streets. So what to do is, bro, you got to you gotta get out of it. You got to start working on other stuff that's going to get you out the hood. You feel me? So you could be able to move and get your family to move too if you care about them. Because say if you make it out the hood, say if you get famous and rich or whatever, you make it out the hood, you out. You go to Cali or whatever. But your family's still in the hood. Now the ops, they don't like you. Oh, they find out you moved? All right, they coming for your family now. You feel me? Now you got your family in danger. That's the one thing y'all got to know, bro. When, if you in the streets, you're basically putting your whole house in the streets. You feel me? You're putting, you're putting your whole... Family in the streets now, just because of you, just because you in the streets. You feel me? So, bro, you got to try and make it out of it, bro. You got to try and make it out. You feel me? And he's also said he wants to be a NFL player, but he's also losing motivation. Bro, one thing about, like, you know, sports and stuff like that, bro, you got you to gotta really be on it, bro. Because sometimes it's like a one in a million thing with the sports stuff, man. You feel me? You could be playing you know, for colleges, playing NFL, you know, being on TV for, you know, you're on TV playing playing football for a college, but you're not getting paid nothing. It's like, what the hell? You feel me? You got, you on TV, you, 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 you feel me? You catching the ball, you, you getting, you getting touchdowns, you sacking the quarterback, you going crazy over there, but you're not getting no money over it. You feel me? Like, you, you like you in the school, you paying for the school though. But but the school not giving you no money from doing anything spectacular in that sport. So that's one thing that's tricky about that shit, bro. You feel me? You can't let anybody finesse you with this shit, man. Don't don't let your talent go to waste. I know you want to go to the NFL, but do not let your talent do not go to waste. You feel me? Like you got you got to just like just figure it out. You gotta like you feel me? Hop hop in the hop in the NFL, right? Through like somebody, somebody that you know, you gotta you gotta know the right people, bro. You gotta know the right people with this stuff. You feel me? You gotta talk to like different agencies. You feel me? Just talk to somebody that's gonna get you paid for doing what you do. You feel me? Cause you got all these people coming to your football game, at thousands of fans, millions of fans coming to your football game with your team, and they know you always winning. You win the game, and then you don't get nothing for it. All you get is a Fucking pat on the back. Good game, bro. We needed you. We needed you to score those five touchdowns. Without you, you wouldn't have won. You feel me? No, nigga. Like, the whole point is you want to get paid. I know NFL makes you happy or whatever, you know? You want to get paid for it, though. You want to make a living off of it. You feel me? So you got to stay focused, man. So my, my, my advice to you is to stay focused on... You know, playing sports, that will help you get out the streets, you feel me? Stay focused on football, you feel me? That will help you not be in the streets as much because you out playing football all the time, you feel me? You out getting better. You out learning new things, you feel me? You out doing doing moves that agencies and free agents, they looking for, you feel me? You got to catch people's eyes, bro. You feel me? You got to be different. So stop, you feel me? Stop uh, worrying and stuff. Stop worrying about, like, if you're going to make it out, stop stressing about it. Stop stressing about it and shit. Just make sure you focus and stay doing what you got to do to get out of it. You feel me? So that's my advice, man, for anybody that's trying to get out the hood and, you know, just, you know, play sports and shit. Because I know a lot of people, where they from, sports is the only way out. So, bro, you got to, you feel me? You got to stay focused on that sport. You got to work really, really hard for it, bro. It's not going to be easy.
It's not going to be easy work, man. I'm telling you. But as long as you stay focused, it will get you out the streets and it will get you in the NFL where you can make big time money and feeding your family. All right? I'm about to be out of here, though, man. I'm about to go to work and shit. Go to Slavies. Another day, my niggas. Another day. I love y'all niggas, man. Send me any problems that you're going through with your life. I'm going to try to solve them right here on this on this phone, right here on this channel. So send me any problems to my Snapchat at Guapanese right now. Gang, gang, bang, bang.